안녕하세요. Aloha from South Korea. I love Mexican food. Yes, there is a Taco Bell on base, but they don't make my favorite dish, chili rellenos. Mm. Oh, this is for you, Lorraine. My friend Lorraine is in Germany. She wanted to know how I make this dish. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Pam, Kanani, Jasmine, and Mike for trying to help me figure this out because the restaurant in Aie, Hawaii, my hometown, the Mexican restaurant that I crave this dish. They use a white sauce. I've done some research and checked online. A lot of the sauces are red or um, even green. So I've had to try and figure this out. And what do I always say? Do what you gotta do with what you have, taste it, and make it how you like it. So, <laughs> This is how I like it, and I will share it with you. Let's get started. Okay, here's all the ingredients and tools. We need a pan for frying. I only go make one. <laughs> I know it's a lot of work for one chili, but it's so worth it. Um, 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 um. And it's recommended one egg per chili, Anaheim chili. And plastic bag, I show you why later. Cheddar cheese and Monterey Jack. You can use mozzarella, but I like Monterey Ooh. Monterey Jack. About a tablespoon of all-purpose flour, enough to coat your Anaheim chili. Oh, and from now on, when I type out the ingredients, big T means tablespoon. Small T means teaspoon. I get tired type out all those long words. So one big tea of all-purpose flour. Oh, toothpicks, I'll show you why later. And the egg, we're gonna have to separate it, the, the white and the yolk. I know, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> and we gotta beat the egg white. So um, if you don't have one of these machines to, you gotta foam up the egg white, you're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Today I'm gonna try the old-fashioned way. We'll see how that goes. And then, of course, oil for frying. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the um, Anaheim chili. The best way to do this is you gotta burn them. You gotta burn the skin off. It's kinda spooky because it pops and I don't like popping sounds. It scares me because you don't know when it's coming. But we'll, we'll start with this. I'll show you how to do it on the gas stove. It's it going to be fun. Like going to be like New Year's with the firecrackers. Okay, before we get started, the chili is spicy, so don't touch your eyes or your face because it's going to hurt. And open all the windows and turn on the fan when we're burning off the skin because, you know, the smell kind of potent. So, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, now that the house is nice and stinky. <laughs> no worry, I get the fan on. I'm gonna air them out before my husband get home. You're gonna be like, what died in here? Okay, I let it rest for about uh, five minutes and now we're gonna peel the skin off. Come off easy. Who oh, are you? Comes off easy. I'll go clean.
Now we gotta separate the egg. <laughs> I don't know how long it takes. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, it's pretty good! Gently coat the egg. Gently, 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 gently. Okay. Come on, baby. Oh, 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 thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let that cook on that side for a little while. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, that smells so good. Now we're gonna make the sauce, the secret sauce. Okay, the sauce is yellow, not white. Maybe next time I'll just try, oh, Monterey Jack. So try it, adjust it to how you like it. Have fun, Lorraine. Have fun, everybody. Come samnida. Aloha from South Korea. <laughs>